11. Romans 11. Okay, here we go. We truly thank God today for His grace and His mercy. And, his and also, too, going back to what you said, that is how we get to the kingdom of heaven, what the brother was going into. That's a commandment. Bring it out. That's how you get to right to the tree of life. That's right. Keeping all of them. Keeping all of them, yes. The word of God today. You have to keep them all of them to the best of your ability. If you're not, if, if for, an, for an example, for an example, for an example, you have to keep the Sabbath day, correct? Yeah. If your job tells you, look, if you don't come in today, you're getting fired. Because we see a lot of people, you know, you, you, you're, you're allowed to go in by the grace that Christ has given you. Right. Still got to keep the law. Right. You got to find out how you get the Sabbath off the next time. You don't just willfully break the Sabbath because you're under the law of the curse and being subject to captivity. Right. The law still has to be kept. Kept. So that's where we stand with the law. We got to keep it to the best of our ability and don't make excuses. You understand? That's right. And God today. You got to keep God's laws. Don't let anybody tell you that. That we can't keep God's laws. Like what? what you think you know. You need faith in Jesus Christ. We don't have to do that no more. Why? Because Christ died. We claim God for this guy. What other law that we are supposed to keep? Because that's not one. Well, then you can keep the rest. That's right. We see. All right, then. You ready to deal with Romans 11? All right, let's go. Romans 11, verse 1. Bring it out. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, have God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. All right. Who was in Jerusalem at that time? As far as the people of Israel. The Jews, right? Jews consist of how many tribes? Three. Three tribes. Judah is short for the term Judah. The ten tribes, what happened to them, they came over on this side of the earth. That's the prophecy in the book of Second Ezra. You following? Give me that real quick. It's a lot. That's why I say when you read Romans, people look, take it for face value, not understand the precepts behind it. Right. When you understand the context of what was going on, he was asking the question because half of the tribes of the nation of Israel wasn't even there. So it says, have God done away with his people? No, God forbid. I'm also an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. But, no, I'm, I'm still explaining. Go ahead. To stand and say that we are a bad man because it's impossible for you to become an Israelite. What is an Israelite? What is an Israelite? Is a religion or is a nationality? Can you convert to a nationality? So you ask your own question. They don't want to follow Jesus. But what did God say in the first John? The Gentiles. That's me. I love that scriptures, verse 9. He said, Whosoever is born. That's what we're explaining. I ain't got to the point yet. I'm just telling you. Oh, we get to it. Oh, we get to it. Oh, we get to it. It cannot be. Sin because he's better than It makes sense, right? If you read it from face value, you'll get that conclusion, right? But now let's understand what it's going into, right? Let's read it. Like I was saying, I was taking you down the timeline. Israel, look at this sign real quick, if you could. Come around this, brother. Or just face it towards him, if you want to say Look at this sign. Bring it back to me. If you look. You these know, three tribes know, consisted of the Jews. Okay. Because the, the rest of these tribes, down from Ephraim all the way down, and you ship and they and went off onto the other Jesus side of the earth. Right. They're still God's the people, right. but later on in the New Testament, you don't read the about these tribes the barely. So what were they called at that time? Gentiles. Twelve tribes. Do you follow them? No, I'll read it for you. I'm just trying to if take the short way out of it, but no, I'll read it for you. Give me the book sin. of um, Second Ezra. I'll read it for you. If you say you're and give me the book of Hosea. Second Ezra. This is the Apocrypha. You, are, you believe in the Apocrypha. If you, marry, you, cheat if you, say you, you got the 1611? Who got the 1611? Uh, Capitalism 1. Can I see your Bible real quick, sir? Sin in you, you cannot continue your sin. Because you have no sin. You Here we go. Check this out for me, brother. Put this on your camera. That's why we see show whoever you show in this video to. Bring it out. This as well. Open it to the uh, the table of context to him real quick. This is a mystery. Oh, the table of the, the index. Right? If the Lord don't give you grace. What does that say there? It's broken up into three sections. One book, though. What do you see? They change, they try to change the word of God, but they can't. 
where they try. In the books of the New Testament. Why is that it's in the Bible? Teach what they, if it's not the Bible. You know that feel good. So you believe it? Can feel good. Let's go to 2nd Ezra. Now I'm going to show you what happened to those tribes. Bring it out. 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra chapter 13 verse 40. Those are the ten tribes. Those are the ten tribes. Hold the sign real quick. One more time. Perfect man. Jesus was the first example. Those are the ten tribes. Read on. Which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, whom Salamanessa, the king of Assyria, led away captives, and he carried them over the waters. And so they came into another land, but they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. So the counsel was that they're going to go into a further country where never my mankind dwelt. That's what we call the new world today. Right. Right. Right? Read on. That they may keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. So the nation of Israel was divided. The northern kingdom of Israel was over here, okay, and in the Old Testament, the they were called Gentiles. Let's read that real quick. Give me the book of Hosea. I just want to show you where they went. Hold on, brother. Hold on. You see with me, right? This is a good question. I want you to go down. I want you to hear. I'm going to be short with it. This is the godliness of God. This is a mystery. I'm going to be quick. Hold on, brother. Give me, give me a minute. Hosea, chapter... Chapter Here's 7, verse 8. Hosea 8 and 8. Israel swallowed up. Now shall he be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. That's what happened to the tribes. They became as Gentiles to the Jews, right? Now give me real quick what the commandment, what God said about the Gentiles. No, no, back in Hosea. Hosea, give me 12. Hosea chapter 4, verse 17. Ephraim is joined to idols. Ephraim is joined to idols. Ephraim became head of the ten tribes. You following? Ephraim. Where we at? Right here. Ephraim, he became the head of the rest of the tribes. So when we're talking about Ephraim, we're talking about the rest of the tribes of the northern kingdom. Name, same nation. Ephraim is joined unto idols. Read. Let him alone. This is why we get to the New Testament. We call them Gentiles. We ain't dealing with them. They ain't been over here sacrificing like we've been sacrificing. Right. You know, Leave them alone. They, they, I said, I got they, people of that. I got they, sheep which are not of this fold. Their must are also praying. Then there may be one. Let's read that again. Give me that real quick. I'm going to take you the long ride because I want you to understand it. Romans 11. I'm going to go through it quick though. Give me the uh, book of St. John, chapter 14. You can be in your mind, in your behavior, the way you act, the way you dress. That is a true image of God. If you are the children of God, you have to hey, right know here. the nature of God is holiness. Because the way you can see right here, right here, right, right here. Holy. Okay. Here we go. And Ten and let's read verse. Um, yep. The book of John, chapter ten, verse sixteen. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Other sheep which I have, which are not of this fold. Read on. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold. What? One fold, one fold, one fold, and one shepherd. Keep that in mind. Remember that. They're not of this fold, but I'm going to bring them back. They're going to be one fold, and they're going to be one shepherd. Ezekiel 36. Check this out. And then we're going to go straight to Romans 11. Now you're going to understand. To become the Ezekiel. 37. 22. And 22. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 22. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. Hold up, real quick. Let's start a little higher so we can get the context. Let's start up at verse uh, 16. Ezekiel 37, 16. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel. His companions. Write one stick and write for Judah and Israel, his companions. Who was his companions? Benjamin and Levi. Read on. And then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim. Read on. And for the house of his Israel, his companions. His companions, the rest of the 12 tribes. So you have two sticks. 
they were split up into two. Judah consisted of Benjamin and Levi. Ephraim consisted of the rest of the tribes. Read on. Now 22. Verse 22. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel and one king shall be king to them all and they shall be no more two nations. Neither shall be they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. That's right. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. Now let's get Romans chapter 11. Bring it up. Now we're going to break it home. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. Again. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, have God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. So I'm going to sum it up real quick. It's a lot in Romans 11. When you read, it says, for the falling of them, I got to read it. I got to read it. Read verse 11. Yeah, read. Uh, start at verse uh, 10. Romans chapter 11, verse 10. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their backs always. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. Talking about the Jews. Have they stumbled that they should fall? They have no way to salvation? God forbid. Unto them the oracles of God was given. It profited much being a Jew. You read that in Romans 3. Read on. But rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles. But rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles. Who were called Gentiles? 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Bring it out. There's so many precepts on this thing. You'll Bring get it, it today. Bring, Bring it out. Bring it out. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 1. 1 yeah. Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. We don't. Carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Who was he talking to? Israelites. Israelites. He said, You Israelites, you were Gentiles. How is it possible, again, you said that yourself, is it possible for you to convert to another race of people? So how is it that they were Gentiles? Mentally they were Gentiles, and they were called Gentiles by the Jews. So what happened amongst the Jews, it says they fell to the point that they didn't believe in Christ, so it, but it was possible that they fall because that's how the Gentiles were grafted in. Paul says, since you ain't believe, lo, I go to the Gentiles. That's the rest of the tribes that were falling off. And they were called uncircumcised by those that were called circumcised. You know what I'm saying? Bring it up. We'll continue. Let's go back to Romans 3 and read that again in verse 11. Romans chapter 11, verse 11. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles to provoke them to jealousy. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world, now the fall of them be what? Be the riches of the world and the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their full, their fullness. But I speak to you, Gentiles, and as much as I am apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. But if by any means I may provoke the emulation, them which are my flesh. And right, jump down to verse 19. We'll get straight to the point. Verse 19. That will say. So wrong with this mic. Verse 19, that will say that the branches were broken off. The branches, which is northern kingdom, or the Gentiles, they were broken off. Leave them alone. Remember that? That council in Hosea? Leave them alone. Don't have no dealings with them. Eat from his joy to idols. Leave them alone. They be broken out free. That I might be crafted in. That I'm, he said that they were broken out, that I might be crafted in. Gentiles, don't get fucked up. Because of the Jews fell off and they don't yet believe in Christ. They fell off that the whole world might be drafted in. You're gonna get what that world is. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. Because of their unbelief in Christ, they were broken off. The Jews read. And thou standest by faith. And you Gentiles, you stand by faith in Christ. They were sacrificing unto Christ, but now you're being grafted in because you believe. Before you were called uh, Gentiles, but now you know, understand that you are God's people. It's time to come back into that fold. Right. This is what Christ was talking about. Read. Be not high-minded. Be not high-minded. But what was the point? Let's get down to what Paul said later on in the chapter. Same chapter, but check this out. Let's get down further, and let's read in verse 26. 
25. Romans chapter 11, verse 25. For I will not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery. I will not, brethren, you be ignorant of this mystery. Read. Lest you should be wise in your own conceits. Read. That blindness in part has happened to Israel. Happened to who? Unto Israel. Read. Until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Read. And so all Israel shall be saved. Read again. All Israel shall be saved. Got real quick. Let's jump up. Go, go back real quick. In case you forgot, go back up real quick. And all Israel might be saved. So it was necessary for the Jews to fall so they wouldn't get high minded, saying they had the advantage and that the Gentiles, which mean the northern, could come in. So it was necessary for them to fall and that the blessing come on the Gentiles and now they can all come back together. Right. That the purpose of what? All Israel might be saved. Read it again. Romans chapter 11, verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer. Which is Christ. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them. Unto who? Unto them. Unto who? Unto them. Unto who? Israel. Uh, verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. 27 again. For this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins. Why? Because all Israel is still here. That's right. God haven't done away with his people. So Romans 11 is talking about the nation of Israel. Right. It's not talking about nobody else. That's right. You understand yeah. that? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.